Hi everybody, this is going to be jump rope number three, part one. So, how are we feeling today? We have some thumbs up, we have some thumbs down, so-so today. Alright, well, let me see. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank some second graders, Dylan, Ryan, uh, Amy, uh, Leilani, Jose, Rodina, Evelyn, thank you so much. There's so many people I want to thank that do the work, show me the work. And all of you, I know, are doing exercises at home, and I want to thank you. So I'm just going to thank some of these people that show me their work. They go on Flipgrid. They go on the uh, Google Forms. So really, thank you so much. Third graders, Malak, Kaylee, Cassandra, Michael, thank you so much. I'm going to start saying some names. I, mean, I may have repeated names again and again, but thank you so much. Fourth graders, Adrian, Brianna, Giovanni, Jose, Nathaniel, Richie, Yannick, Isamanda, you guys, great, thank you, and all of you, thank you. Fifth graders, Alpha, Edwin, Gabriel, Liz Melly, Yadiel, Juan, excellent, thank you so much. Kaylee, Gabriel, J uh, Jada, thank you. You guys always are showing me stuff on Flipgrid, doing your Google Forms, thank you so much. And all of you, keep up the good work. Keep up your exercises. It's important as you get older. Just keep moving. Have fun while you're doing it. Moving your body, exercising, walking, swimming is a lot of fun. So keep up. Keep it all up. So this week we're going to re review past jumps. We're going to do some new jumps this week. And Mr. Bosha didn't do a great job in part two because my body's getting older. And I'll explain that a little later in this video. But some of the new jumps are a bell jump where you jump forward and backward. There's a toe touch and a heel touch, which I did not do very well, but I'm going to put on a YouTube video. And the backward swing that most of you do also besides the forward swing. So that's what we'll do. And some of these questions, think about them as you do them. What makes physical activity meaningful to you? Think about that. All right. For me, it just keeps my body, when my body feels good, my brain feels good. And it, I don't know, something about moving my body just makes me feel good. So that's why it's meaningful to me. Um, again, what did you learn today? Maybe it's the new jump. Maybe it's an exercise. Maybe it's something in this talk that maybe you, said, you thought about. And now it's like, oh yeah, Mr. Bosha said that. Uh, think about those things. And on the Flipgrid and the Google form this week, I want you to tell me, how does jumping rope enhance, improve your fitness? Okay? How does jumping rope improve your fitness? What do you feel when you do? What body, what muscles are you using? Um, what, what do you think is helping? Okay, improving. So those are some things I'd like you to think about. And now I always talk about certain things. I've been teaching at PS205 for over 20 years. And I've seen so many students working together, helping each other. It didn't matter what the person's ability was. Okay, It could have been someone who was not so great in physical activity or in gym or someone who was really good. And you guys all worked together. You helped each other. You included each other. That is such a beautiful quality. And you all have it. I've seen it. Okay, You're living in the Bronx. It's very crowded there. You see a lot of different people living together. It's, it shows diversity, not only with physical uh, abilities, cultures, color. You, you see so many different things, and that helps your social conscience grow. You're helping others. You're trying to, you just take it all in, and you know how to help people. You know how it feels helping people. You know how it feels not being helped. Okay, so, so this is going to help you. Now, however, as students get older, I notice that they're not as empathetic, sympathetic to other students. Now, this could be part of maybe growing up as fifth graders. They're maybe, I don't know, trying to be older. But you got to remember, kindness outweighs meanness. Okay, you're, good, you're getting maybe different ideas. Being good, really. Being kind. You like when it's people are kind to you. So it feels good. So try to continue. Try to remember to be kind to others. Okay? So those are just some of the things that I see that I'd like you to think about. Now, this leads to friendships. 
All right, now this is important for our fifth graders. They're going into middle school. Okay, and it really can get tricky. It's difficult. It's, it might be really hard. So you need to be true to yourself. You need to stay confident and not be pressured into situations that you don't want to do. Okay, friendships, think about all those things. I want you to think about what friendships mean to you. Okay, what does a friendship mean to you? And how do you choose a friend? Those are going to be really important topics as you go into middle school, my friends, in fifth grade. All right, so I want you to just take that in, think about it. And I'm going to turn my page here because I have some more things to say. And I am talking a little bit more today, so I apologize. But that's okay. Sometimes I talk a little too much. All right, so... So no matter what our abilities are, we've always included e each other. And every one of us, me, other adults, parents, children, infants, we have strengths and weaknesses, okay, limitations where we can improve. Right? So, for example, when I was growing up and I was in elementary school, I liked sports. I, I loved playing sports. I liked being active. But I wasn't the best writer. I really didn't like writing Um I liked math, but I didn't like writing. So I knew if I, 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 I don't know, I didn't know what, what I could do to be a good writer. I didn't like it. I didn't think I was good in it. So since I was really good in sports, or I should say I really liked sports, I used sports to help my writing. All right, so I used my strength playing sports to try to help my writing. It made me more interested in the, what I was writing about. And I wanted to get my topic across. So that helped me become a better writer. Okay, I stayed confident. I was optimistic because I wanted to show everyone what I knew about sports. So that helped me get better. So by using your strengths, you can improve and get better at some of the things you need to get better at. Another example. I'm getting older. I don't run as fast as I used to, right? My, I, I just, I can't. My body's changing. I've had operations on my knees. So I just don't, I just can't run the way I want to. So I need to change some of the activities and exercises that I do and to keep my body strong and to keep me active. And that's going to be a little bit difficult for me because I like doing physical activities. My body might not be able to do those activities more and more as I get older. So I still have to find activities that are physical, that are challenging, all right? But they may be not as difficult as what I'd like to do. Okay, maybe I can't run. I have to start walking. Um, maybe I can't do martial arts. Maybe I should do yoga. So those are some choices I need to make. But I want to find things that are exciting, all right? I still want to find tough things. I may want to find difficult things, but I want to find things that are exciting. And it's not going to be easy learning these new things and changing some of my habits of trying to do physical things. So it's going to be a process, but I, if I find something interesting and exciting, it'll make my transition changing a little bit better. So we all have our strengths and weaknesses. We work with them, work with our strengths to get our weaknesses or limitations to improve what we need areas we need improving in and you can do it in exciting ways all right my friends have a wonderful week sorry i talked a little bit too much today and have fun bye bye